Hello everybody, so here we're doing exercise 3.5. Starting from the result of problem 217, we found that the multiplicity is equal to this. Okay, so now we know that the entropy is equal to k ln of the multiplicity. So we just plug in our multiplicity, we get that is equal to k ln of this. Oops, that one did. No. Okay, which yeah, bigger. Okay, so we can rewrite this as k q l n of e n over q. Okay, now we know again that q is equal to u over uh, divided by a constant. So we're going to get the entropy is equal to k u over a constant times l n of e n over q. All right, now that we got here. We can say that temperature is equal to the entropy differentiated in terms of energy by power of negative one. So again, we can do it. We're gonna get the uh, differentiation of this. Oops. Okay. Divided by uh, sorry, in terms of the energy, the power of negative one. Okay. I forgot to substitute the second Q in. So we're gonna have U uh, over A, okay? So, we get that. Um, temperature is equals to, I'm gonna break it down in pieces. I believe it's a little, uh, actually, probably not, not anything easier. Okay, so we're gonna have uh, the derivative or the first part, the first u, so this one right here, which is then going to be equal to simply, oh, I forgot a k right here, that's what the line was, okay. k over the constant ln of e n, multiply the constant and then over u, plus then k u over constant, and then we derive this part right here which is going to be equals to um, simply negative 1 over u, I believe. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, because ln of u would be 1 over u. Yeah. Okay, so do we have a negative? Yes. Okay. Oops. So... We can say um line of E and okay yes. I'm just pretty sure sorry but it's a little tricky. And let me just rewrite the first part as k divided by a constant and then multiply it by ln of n times the constant divided by u plus one, I saw pretty much this e inside the natural logarithm, which is this one, plus ku, and then this. Okay. Um, so now we can collect what we have. Uh, we're gonna have these two cancel each other out. Yes, okay. So we have k over constant times ln of n times constant divided by u plus one minus k divided by the constant. So these two cancel each other out and we obtain that it's equals to k divided by the constant times ln of n times the constant divided by u. Okay, um, so now we know that this, I forgot to write it here, all around. This was the power negative one. So here the power negative one. So now we start solving, we're gonna get one over T is equals to K over the constant ln of N constant divided by U. 
which means that um, constant over actually no yeah actually this works for now constant over t sorry k over t k over t times the constant is equals to natural logarithm of n times the constant divided by u so now we can uh, put everything with the power of e to the power yeah no with the power of e okay so e the power of k divided by t times the constant um oh no that's what that's what i was, was getting confused just to switch out okay and then the other side just get to the ln so n the constant divided by u okay so now we solve by u multiply both sides by u we're gonna get u is equals to n times the constant divided by e to the power of the constant divided by kt or simply n constant e to the power of negative the constant divided by kt and this is our final solution um i hope this is helpful we can test out for example we know that as t approaches zero then our energy will approach zero as well um not really much to see in there um, of course we can't exactly put in zero because this part right here would not sorry this part right here will not actually reach zero because this part here will reach negative infinity or to be more precise this part here will reach infinity uh, and it's not a number that we can actually work with but that's the solution to our problem